Hello, hello guys, welcome to episode zero of the second season of Reflections of a Slightly Conscious Being. I am Sandra Lorenzo, a music artist that is on a journey towards consciousness. I am not a licensed psychologist, therapist, or coach. Okay, guys, all information I share here comes from personal experience and doesn't mean to replace any kind of professional help. All right, guys. So this is episode zero. So it's it, it will basically be a warm up of what's to come on season two. So there are some changes on this upcoming season and I'll be talking about them. Um, one of the changes you already noticed is in the title. So the musical part uh, is not here anymore. Okay, so I received some feedback from some of you and it totally made sense to me um, that, you know, some of you, some of my musical followers are not keen on personal growth. And so they were kind of watching the podcast just for the musical part. And then it occurred to me, yeah, and maybe some people who actually appreciate appreciate the personal growth part are not big fans of my music. There are two different teams, even though, of course, they are related. Um, my music talks a lot about my emotional struggles and my personal growth. But I do understand they are different languages. They are different formats. Thank you so much for that feedback. So I decided to keep them separated, just like The Offspring says. You gotta keep them separated. So if you want to follow my musical career, just watch the other videos. Uh, you can watch um, my original music on Sandra Lorenzo. Or if you like to watch my collaborations with artists all around the world, just watch my page, Sandra Bullet. That's the way I divide my stuff, okay? Sandra Bullet, it's for collaborations with other artists. Sandra Lorenzo is where I talk about my personal projects, being musical projects, personal growth projects, or other things that I'm passionate about, like nature, for instance. We will have one episode per week, okay? Coming out every Wednesday at 7 p.m. Lisbon time. Each episode will be 30 minutes more or less, okay? You can watch the video format on YouTube or you can also watch the podcast format, so all only audio on all major podcast platforms. Another change is that I won't be doing these episodes live anymore, so they are recorded episodes, but that doesn't mean we cannot have interaction. Of course, of course we can have interaction, okay, guys? Um, you can send me your questions, you can send me your suggestions um, to my email, mail at sandralorenko.pt, okay? It's on the description of this video uh, or on the podcast email. So send me your suggestions, send me your questions, and I'll do my best to include them on the next episode. So um, about how I'll be structuring every episode, so the musical part is off, okay? But then we'll be having, at the, uh, at the same time, we'll have one team per episode, okay? And I'll be starting by uh, talking about the definition of the team, how I see the team, sharing my personal experience with it, how I see it, and then I'll be sharing some methods that help me overcome it, okay? Not all teams are overcome, uh, I have many things in my life that are works in progress and it, it, personal growth, it's not about the goal, it's about the journey and it's one step at a time. And I do feel it's a never ending process. Um, it's in that sense, it's like learning an instrument. You know, when you, when you start learning an instrument at first, you cannot do it right because it's so much, so many new, it's so much new information, right? And you're just trying out and you take it at one step at a time and then you get better, better, better and better. But it's always a work in progress, right? You never stop learning an instrument. And in music, I never stop doing music. I'm always learning. I'm always creating new things and um, discovering new methods. And in personal growth, it's also that. It's a theme in progress. So, of course, some themes and some, some situations I had struggled in the past are not issues anymore for me. But still, there's always a natural tendency of us to behave in a certain way, right? We, we are conditioned, and I talked about that in season one, we are conditioned to um, work in a certain way. Uh, what we can work is maintain our awareness, maintain our alertness, 
so we can catch ourselves uh, catching our autopilot, if that makes sense, before we act in a certain way that we were programmed to do. And of course, I'm talking about generational trauma or conditioning, go, any kind of conditioning growing up, um, maybe in your family, maybe in your circle of friends, teachers, or even the society or country you were born. We'll be, ca we'll be carrying on that team. Um, and I'll be sharing some of, well, some of the themes that are personal to me and challenges that I overcome. Uh, or at least that I'm trying to overcome. One thing that I did, and of course, before doing here this episode and starting on season two, I went back to season one and I uh, started on season one, I started with episode zero. I went there back and read everything I had in the script I had for, for that episode. Usually you know, when I do these um, episodes, I do have a script of things that I wanted to, to that I want to say, but then I, I improvise. I don't, I don't have the very, I don't have a very strict script. I improvise along the way. If I feel like, okay, here, I want to talk about this. I, I go ahead. That's the way that I want to keep it on this season two. All right. But then I went back to the season one on episode zero. Say, oh, okay, let's see what I shared on episode zero. And I shared my journey so far. And episode zero um, of the first season was already on September 22nd of last year, 2023. So almost six months ago. As I was reading, okay, I was on a different place than I am now. I was single. I was focusing on myself and uh, I was focusing on becoming more conscious every day. And um, I had reached a point because I, I did most of my grieving process. I felt the need to be by myself. And so almost for almost 11 months, I focused a lot in myself and on my personal growth. As I did that, suddenly there was a need and uh, a wanting to share uh, everything that I was learning. And um, I learned so much about personal growth, spiritualism, conventional and alternative psychology. And um, it was just that I felt this huge need, this great need to share. And while I was sharing, I was also entering a new, stra a new stage of my grieving process. You know, on season one, I focused a lot about my process of grieving my past relationship. But looking back now, I felt like I was grieving a lot more than that. I was grieving almost a previous different life. Because, you know, when I did the major shift that I did last year, well, last year, started, it started, yeah, it was, well, almost one year and a half ago. When I did that progress, that, um, when I took that step, I exited a 16 year relationship, romantic rela relationship. I moved back from a house that um, I thought I was going to spend the rest of the rest of my life. So I was also grieving a house. Um, I grieved the city that I had lived for the past 16 years because I moved back into my home city. And so many things changed in my life. It wasn't just a relationship per se. Um, it was many things that changed. And um, no wonder that um, I felt such a huge need to work on myself and to feel my stuff, to feel my feelings. I'm a person that even though I have a, a really strong rational mind, I have an engineering mind. Uh, that's my background is my background is on, is in engineering and um, I love the way engineering makes sense and I have a very strong rational uh, mind but I'm also a person who is very aware of her feelings and I feel deeply and intensely and um, it was also a big part of that process last year was to get in touch with my feelings and as I started season one of Musical Reflections, I had songs to share, I had reflections to share, I had um, knowledge to share, 
and I was basically I got out of my introversion period and entered an extroversion period. And it was all part of the grieving process. As I was putting everything out there, um, it was kind of a pressure-releasing method for me. I put everything that I learned out there, I let it go. And as I was letting it go, some space opened up in myself. And as that happened, um, someone very special came into my life. Well, we actually found each other. So this happened during season one. Uh, I went from being single on being, well, on f falling in love, uh, falling in love, and then started starting building a relationship together with that person. So season one ended in January. So three months ago already, it was definitely a learning process. Um, many things happened and um, when the season ended and um, I had very clear in my mind that I wanted to do 16 episodes. Uh, why 16 episodes? Because I was grieving 16 years of my life. So I just felt it makes sense to be 16 episodes, to be 16 songs, to be um, 16 themes that I wanted to talk about and share with you guys. So when the season came to an end, I felt again the need to take a break from sharing. So I took a break from uh, social media. I took a break from streaming. I took a break from um, this podcast as well. It was necessary for me. I was entering a new period of my life. I was with a new person. Uh, new people entered my life also. Um, new challenges. Um, my life became busier, more interesting as well. And of course, new challenges also are risen because that's the way it is, right? Um, and with that, um, new ideas, new themes uh, came into my life um, that I wanted to share and to talk here with you guys on season two. So today I won't be talking about any theme in particular. It, episode zero is all about catching up and um, well, setting expectations. I don't, I don't know how many episodes season two will have. Okay, I'm leaving that open. Uh, the teams will come to me and when I feel, you know, I'll just be in touch with myself and know when I feel that, okay, I shared everything that I wanted to share for now, we'll do a break, a season break as we did on um, on the first season. Okay, always keeping it easy for you guys because I do believe these teams are supposed to be easy, are supposed, and they can be actually very logical and, um, well, I can thank my engineering side for that. <laughs> it allows me to talk in a more logical way um, and in a way that hopefully I'll keep, be keeping it approachable. But again, guys, feel free to reach out if there's something that you don't understand. So first episode will go online um, April 24th, okay, in one week for now. And meanwhile, meanwhile, uh, if you have any questions, if you have um, any suggestions, go ahead, send me an email or comment this video or podcast or whatever. I'll do my best to include them on the episode. All right, guys. Thank you so much for being here and see you on the next episode. All right. Bye bye. <laughs> Thank you.